So welcome back to one of our interviews. Today I've got with me Danny Miles, who owns this 1951 Chevy 10 Woody. Danny, tell us a little bit about the car, how you came to get it, and just the story behind it. Yeah, yeah like you said, it's a 1951 10 Woody. Um, I purchased the car from the uh, guy that uh, had the car built down at Jesse Green down in uh, Alabama. The yep. car for him. Uh, back in 2000, maybe 10, 9 or 10, something like that. And his customer lived in Texas, right there we built. He took it to uh, California uh, on a trip, went to the Salt Flats with it. Uh, went on a power tour, I think, in Texas. Stick was over on the windshield back in 2017. And uh, the car got about 10, 12,000 miles on it. Uh, it was a driver. It was a flame off car. They, they took it, put the body off the frame, and uh, I think they originally found the car on eBay, and uh, you know brought it back to the shop, took it apart, put all the uh, updated components in it, LS1, uh, Paul Atkinson's interior, custom interior. The woodwork <coughs> was a lighter color. And different color than this one yeah, you originally got. Yeah, different color when I originally got it. This is one of the things that I changed because, you know, people when they buy a car, they're going to put their own spin on it, their own personality. Exactly. Some people yeah. like it, some didn't. Uh, just like me. I mean, it was, a, it was a good job, but I thought it was too light. It really matched the interior. And uh, so I found out where the guy did the paintwork down in Tampa. Okay. And I got the inks from him. And I always got me a mailbox. And practiced on the mailbox, do a wood grain. I went down to Lowe's and got me a um, sponge and a little chicken brush and, and painted my mailbox. And uh, my wife told me, I said, uh, I said, I don't like that woodwork. I said, I'm going to change it. She said, that's a long way from the mailbox to a you know, yeah. $100,000 car. Yeah. And something you ain't never done. And I said, well, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so anyway, I took it, uh, took all the gold panels and handles and mirrors and stuff off of it. Wood drained it. No, I took it at Detroit Speed, but of mine down there works in the tank shop, Michael Neighbors. Took it, stripped it down, reprimed it, brought it back to the house with the base coat on it. Put the wood grain on there and took it back again. And what we did, we come up with this uh, satin finish. Yeah. Uh, and that was another thing that they had done before. And a lot of people still do it. They put the gloss clear. Yeah. 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 You know, it's kind of like this finish here. Yeah. Thinking it would more look like wood. Now, this is my, I'm a woody man. This is my second 10 wood. My first one was a 52. Um, and I totally redone it with the help of Michael again from Detroit Speed, which is the shop to the pump painter. I did do the woodwork and put it in, put some interior in it. And when I was doing that, like I said, we just tore it all apart. I mm -hmm. all steel rubber, and I got all the rubber components that had, y'all had it. Everything I needed. And um, brought it back to me and a buddy of mine for everything here. Awesome with the rubber now. But uh, this was already done. I didn't have to go to that extension this car. So right, right. Right. Two ideas. So, uh, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a hobby. I've been doing it for about, I don't know, 40 years, I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you, you know, just looking at the paint that you did for the wood, it doesn't look like that's your second time doing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. it, it looks really good. Well, uh, like I said, it, it was uh, something that, uh, that I did, uh, thought I could do. It was nerve-wracking for sure, you know, uh, because once you start, you got to go, yeah. and you got to back up the start all over. Yeah. I spent probably three or four days. I did this side, the other side. The back. And then the valve cover on the LS, I had to take them off and wood grind, wood grind those to match the, the wood here. It didn't have this dark section in here. Yeah, put that, put that in there. But so, yeah, that's, it was fun. It was different. And now I've fertilized the car, you know, something that I've done. Yeah, no, it was, uh, sorry. And you said this car was built in 2010. Uh, you know, as far as styles go and, you know, how things move through the years, this car has really held the test of time since then. I mean, 2010 to 2021, that's a lot of style change yeah. in the industry. Yeah, that was one thing that uh, 
I was amazed about it for, uh, when I saw it that I liked. Yeah. Uh, it was still in date. Yeah. I mean, I've had this car out, uh, and everybody thinks it's think it's good. It was during, during last year, they yeah. couldn't believe it was coming that line. You know, like I said, it's got uh, buttons wheels on, it's got 22s in the back, 18s on the front, I didn't change any of that. Stamps. Um, I mean, it's like you said, it's still up to date. Stamps plating from uh, Nashville did all the homework on this. On this yeah. And, there, and there's a difference between, you know, customizing the car and, and then restyling it to be what should have been built. You know what I mean? That's that's a, the ambition of a lot of builders is make it how it should have been. You know, like I can see like the, the drip rail's been shaved here a bit. Uh, and I'm, I, there's probably a lot of body modifications that are subtle, but it makes all the lines tighter, you know, cleans up the engine department, of course. But just those little small details make the car a completely different car than the original. Yep, that's right. And, uh, you know, that's what street drive is all about is custom cars, uh, styles, change. Um, some of these guys now doing some stuff just pretty real. Uh, it's hard to keep up with the, <laughs> the industry. You can if you got big pockets. <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell you, for, for a 2010 car, I mean, this, this car is well on the way of keeping up for more than a decade at this point. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, Danny, it's very nice talking to you. Yeah. We appreciate you coming out here. Yeah, and thank you for taking your time out to uh, let me do this interview with you. Absolutely. Still. If you are interested in seeing more interviews like this, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time.